friends, this is Katerina from the Evolution of Stitches and in this video tutorial I'm going to talk about the raglan on a top-down sweater. This tutorial is in order to help you knit the raglan rows and increases of the evergreen sweater but you can use it in any other top-down sweater you might want to knit. First of all, what is a raglan? A raglan is a widely used technique for working in creases when knitting from the top down. So the sleeves come all the way up to the neck. The raglan rows are the diagonal lines going from the neck to both armpits. So in order to measure a raglan, you should measure from the neck edge, that is the collarbone, and then diagonally until the base of the armpit and of course add some ease for a better fit now a raglan row is the point where you add your increases on a top-down sweater until it fits the shoulders the chest and the arms and these increases are added in four places in four quadrants we may say so we add increases in uh, the front, the back and the two sleeves and we also add increases on either side of the raglan row. So in this way, uh, because we have four raglan rows, we add eight increases in total on the round of increases because we don't add increases on every row or every round we add increases on every other round so now that we know what a raglan is let's see how to proceed knitting it the first thing is to measure the length you need as we said you can measure diagonally from uh, the collarbone to under the armpit and add some ease or you can measure a sweater that fits well to the person who is going to wear the one that you are knitting right now by laying it flat and measure across uh, the upper arm and double that to get the circumference of the armpit. So when you know the measurements of the raglan, the next step is to calculate how many rows or rounds in this case, because I am knitting uh, with circular needles, you will need to knit in order to get that length. To give you an example, let's use the length I have measured for the evergreen sweater and it's 27 centimeters. Let's suppose that I'm going to need 27 centimeters for my raglan, although I'm going to say here that I'm not going to need 27 centimeters. I will need to calculate how many rounds to need in order to get these 27 centimeters. And in order to find this, I will have to go back to the gauge I have knitted when I started knitting the sweater. So according to the gauge I've knitted in order to get a 10 by 10 centimeters square of knitted fabric I would need to knit 22 rows or rounds in this case. Of course you should use your gauge in order to calculate this. So what I know is that I need 22 rounds in order to get 10 centimeters. So now I'm going to use the direct rule of three. If you remember some simple mathematics, in order to get 10 centimeters, I had to need 22 rows. In order to knit 27 centimeters, how many rows or rounds should I knit? And the formula that I'm going to use is to multiply B, which is the number of rows or rounds of the gauge, by the number of rows or rounds I need, and divide this by 10. 
So in my case, in order to get 27 centimeters, I would need to need 59.4 rounds. Of course, we cannot need a decimal number. And another thing we should not forget is that on every other round of these 59.4 rounds, let's say, we are going to add increases on the four Raglan rows. So, as I said, I'm going to add increases on every other round. So, if I divide my 59.4 rounds by 2, then I get 29 Point 0.7 rounds of course I cannot need a decimal number so I'll go up to the next number so 30 and if I multiply uh, these 30 rounds with the number of, of increases that is with 8 increases then I will get 240 stitches more on these 30 rounds but there are already 100 stitches on my needles so now if I add all these stitches I come up with 340 stitches now we need to use our gauge again because we need to check the width of these 340 stitches according to my gauge if I need 14 stitches I get 10 centimeters uh, horizontally so if I need 340 stitches what is the width I get if I use the rule of 3 again meaning that I'm going to multiply 10 by 340 and divide by 14 that is I'm going to multiply 10 by the number of stitches I get if I need all these rounds and then divide by the number of the stitches of the gauge I get 242 point five centimeters so if I end up with uh, 242.5 centimeters the sweater will be too wide because according to the measurements of the person who is going to wear the sweater I need 98 centimeters for the chest plus uh, 10 centimeters for these and about 46 centimeters multiplied by 2 that is 92 centimeters for the sleeves plus 4 centimeters of ease for each one of the sleeves but for this ease I'm going to add uh, stitches under the armpit when I join the sleeves so if I need all these 30 rounds of increases I will um, end up with 42.5 extra knitted fabric that means that the sweater is going to be too loose so although I need 27 centimeters for my raglan I'm not going to keep on increasing on all these rounds what I'm going to do is to knit 23 centimeters with increases and then I will just continue knitting raglan rows but without any increases so in order to know how many rounds to knit for my 23 centimeters again I'm going to use the direct rule of three meaning that I'm going to multiply 23 by 22 and divide by 10 and this will give me 25 rounds of increases so I will have to need 50 rounds in total and uh, then I will need to knit 4 centimeters more if I use the direct uh, rule of 3 
again in order to get these four centimeters with no increases I will need to knit eight rounds in total. So this is the way we calculate uh, the raglan increases on a top-down sweater. I hope you find uh, this tutorial useful. Please watch the other tutorials on how we knit the evergreen uh, sweater. I think um, you will find them very useful even if you don't knit the same uh, pattern. Uh, if you like my tutorial, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye for now.